Hello friends, welcome to my channel Piping Engineering 3D. In today's session, we will uh, create the pump suction line. Here, this is the pump, it is PNID, or oh, this is the pump, and in the suction line, there is one drain, then Y type strainer, and the wall wall. We will try to create it. So, get into the PDMS first of all. I have created pipe we will now create the branch for this we will uh, head tail setting connect we will we'll just ok then just you can see in the PNID uh, the arrow direction is here means the flow is going from tank to this pump and this is the suction line so tail will be at this pump first of all we will set the tail tail to nozzle for doing this just stand on the branch connect then branch then tail to the nozzle apply and give this reference then for as the flow will flow from here to this here so this will be tail and this will be head so, so head of nozzle apply and give this reference dismiss this now stand on the branch create component we will try to create the the flow will be backward so we'll select the backward and uh, now we will create the gasket first in the backward flow as this is the tail create gasket we will uh, select this GA after giving the 100 mm spool it will move in the north direction like this we do not want that that much pull so we will force connect it type the fcon force connect enter so it will be force connected to this nozzle but we will give the spool of 10 mm give this like this then after that just create the flange in the backward create we will create this flange f again force connect it then give this pull of 10 mm like this after that you can check the PNID for your reference we have to create the drain for drain we will give the OLED create it it will be around 25 NB. We will again give this pool that is uh, 300 300 spool. Then we will rotate it in 180 degree as we want the drain at downward side. Then we will after that we will create the flange. We will try to create the strainer. Create 100 mm of spool is given to it, but we want 300 mm. Then create the gasket like this. Again, force connected. Give 10 mm of spool. I'll try to connect the basket type strainer it will be in the piping component created it is actually not available so uh, now stand on this gasket this is flange this is gasket and we'll skip the 
strainer and we will directly connect the this ball wall actually uh, the wall for doing this we have created plunge gasket and now we will select the wall just create it now we will give this random wall that is gate wall as the ball wall is not available for this spec so we will again force connect it uh, spool is not required so we'll skip that gasket now create the gasket force connect it give the 10 mm of spool now the flange is created again force connect to it give the 10 mm spool now we will create the elbow elbow of 90 degree and we will give the direction upward through next here you can see this uh, we have to shift this pump to this side and create the line from here and then connect this to here uh, for this select this line we will drag we will drag this using model editor you can see in this direction we will ship this in 1250 distance then now we will rotate this nozzle 90 degree in a backward direction we have to rotate but uh, we will rotate this like this then we will rotate this 90 degree now we will rotate this 180 degree in backward direction so like this we have again we have to create the backward elbow then just 90 degree select the direction up and through next again in the backward direction in the forward direction we will create the gasket then first of all just delete this gasket stand on this branch forward in the forward direction create the gasket we doesn't require 100 mm spool so we will force connect it and we will give the spool of 10 mm then we will create the flange in a forward direction the spool we don't require we will force connect it and we will give the 10 mm spool now after creating this flange we will now create the elbow in a forward direction 90 degree create like this we will now delete this elbow like this we will check its cube p1 
value that is 80 nb bore and this value is 100 we have to add a reducer here so we will in a forward direction through next first of all rotate this in the west direction and through next now we will add the reducer here reducer 80 by 100 concentric we will create this and this line will be connected like this now we will try to create the drain for this we have already created one of the branch now we will connect the branch head to this let apply click here now standing on this branch we will create the elbow we have to create the elbow in the downward direction like this 100 mm spool will be given to it in the direction east in this east direction we will create the flange flange and uh, in a forward flange we'll give this pool 100 we will now create the gasket for this the gasket this gasket we will connect it force connect and we will now give the 10 mm spool to this I will